Modern servitude is voluntary, consented to by the mass of slaves who trudge along the face of the earth. They themselves buy the commodities that enslave them every day more. Slaves procure alienating jobs that are bestowed upon the tame. They themselves choose the masters whom they will obey. For this absurd tragedy to play out, it has been necessary to breed in them the ignorance of their own exploitation and alienation. Behold the bizarre modernity of our time, as with the slaves of antiquity, serfs of the Middle Ages, or the working class of the first industrial revolutions, Today we bear witness to an emerging class of the totally enslaved. The difference being, they don't know it, or better yet, choose to ignore it. They fail to recognize the one weapon available to the enslaved, rebellion. Slaves accept without question the pitiful life that was manufactured on their behalf. Apathy and resignation are the sources of their misfortune. Behold the nightmare of the modern-day slave whose sole aspiration is to be swept away by the macabre dance of the machine of alienation. As slaves build their world with the alienated strength of their work, the world's decor becomes the jail they will be forced to inhabit, a squalid world lacking taste and scent, a host to the misery inherent in the dominant mode of production. This decor is in a state of perpetual construction. Nothing in it is constant. The ceaseless redesign of the space that surrounds us is justified by the generalized amnesia and insecurity that its inhabitants must live with. The system's objective is to fashion everything in its image. Every day the world becomes dirtier and noisier like a factory. Every inch of land in this world belongs to a state or to an individual. This social theft through the acquisition of lands is manifested by the omnipresence of walls, fences, barriers, and frontiers. These are the visible marks of the divide that invades everything. The unification of space for commercial ends, however, is the grand objective of our sad age. The world must become an immense and efficient highway in order to facilitate the transport of merchandise. Every obstacle, human or natural, must be destroyed. The inhumane concentration of modern-day slaves into reduced, crowded spaces reflects their lives and evokes cages, jails, and caves. But in contrast to slaves or prisoners, the modern-day slave pays for his cage.
en 